Hello everyone, Cindy here with Monarch Mom DIY. Thank you so much for joining me today on my channel where I love to bring you the best tips and tools to inspire you to create beautiful home decor on a budget. Today I am back with four more new patriotic home decor DIYs. I really hope you enjoy them. So with all that being said, let's get crafting. For today's first DIY, we're going to make these stars and stripes tags using these two tags from Magnolia Design Co., but you can use any wood tags that you have, some letters from Hobby Lobby, and some scrapbook paper. So the first thing I'm doing, my tags happen to be 13 inches tall, so I made marks at every one inch so I can do the 13 stripes. You can see I'm using one inch painter's tape to mark off where the red stripes will eventually be and then between the pieces of tape we will paint our white stripes using Waverly chalk paint in the color snow white. While those stripes are drying, we'll come over to our other tag that I'm going to attach this blue paper with the white stars. This happened to come in a pack by Echo Park called God Bless America. You're gonna see more of this paper in this video. It is a thicker cardstock, it's double-sided, but feel free to use whatever paper you have. I'm sure Hobby Lobby has some single-sided paper that is blue with some white stars. So I just measured my tag and then I'm going to Mod Podge the blue with white stars paper onto the front of my tag. Because the tag is 13 inches tall and my paper is only 12 inches, I did have to cut another little strip for the top of my tag, but I was able to line up the star pattern for that so that you couldn't tell it was two separate pieces. So apply your Mod Podge and then press down your cardstock or your scrapbook paper really well and set that aside to dry. Now coming back to our stripes tag, I'm now taking that one inch painter's tape and I'm putting it over each of my white stripes and then we will paint the red stripes in between using Waverly's chalk paint in the color crimson. Next, I have these skinny wood letters that I get from Hobby Lobby. You get two in a pack for, I believe, like $1.19. I have USA, and I'm going to paint these also with my Crimson Waverly Chalk Paint. We're going to end up adding these to the front of our stars tag. Once the scrap of paper is dry, you can just flip over your tag and trim away any excess paper up at the top. Then I'm going to use my little hand sander from Amazon. It can be found in my Amazon storefront link, which is in the description box. And I'm just in a downward motion going around all the edges to clean up any extra scrap of paper and also to get that nice white distressed edge. Once I do that, I am going to apply a layer of matte finish Mod Podge to the front since this is paper, just in case I decide I want to hang it outdoors 
or somewhere where there might be a little bit of moisture. And I'm also going to do the same thing on my tag with the red and white stripes. Now that all the Mod Podge is dry, I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm gonna glue down the USA letters going vertically on my star tag. Then taking some jute twine, I'm going to make a hanger for my tags by putting the jute through the hole and tying a knot. Then I'm gonna go up and over and do the same thing on the red and white tag. I'm doing this before I glue my two tags together a little bit so that they'll hang how I want them to hang. Once I have my tags placed how I want them on top of each other, I'll put a little bit of hot glue between them and then press that down. The last thing I'm gonna do is make a messy bow with some ribbon and we'll attach that to the top of our tags. And here's our completed first project. I love how these turned out and how simple they are. These would look really cute hanging inside or even on a door. If you're stopping by my channel for the first time today, welcome. I'm so glad that you found me. I really hope you enjoy what you see and you'll consider sticking around my channel by hitting that subscribe button. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support of me and my channel. I hope everyone will take a second, tap that little bell icon, make sure that your notifications are set to all so YouTube should let you know whenever I upload a new video or go live here on my channel. For DIY number two, we're going to repurpose a thrifted frame. Also use some more of that scrapbook paper, some Scrabble tiles, and a couple stars, as well as some paint and Mod Podge. So this frame I've had for a while. It had kind of a yellowish cream color to it. I wanted it to be nice and bright white. So the first thing I'm doing is applying a coat of Waverly chalk paint in Snow White. I'm not worrying about the back, but I am getting the front of the frame and the inside edge and the outside edges all the way around. While that paint is drying, I'm taking my two stars here. These happen to be from Magnolia Design Co., but you could use any wood star shapes you'd like. I am tracing them onto the back of this two scrap of papers that I want to use to cover my stars. And then we will cut those out and Mod Podge them onto the front of the stars.
Now moving back to our frame, since the paint is dry, I am gonna do a layer of Mod Podge over this as well, just so I can ensure that the paint will not get scratched off. Now once the scrap of paper is dry on these stars, I'm gonna do the same thing I did on the tags. And using my little sander, I'm going in a downward motion on all of the edges to get off any excess scrap of paper. Next, we're gonna trim down the background scrapbook paper that I want to go inside the frame. This is pretty much an eight by 10 frame, so I'm cutting this paper at eight by 10, and then I am going to use Mod Podge to attach it to the back there of the frame. I did not have the glass for this frame any longer. If I did, I would have probably just put this paper in the frame and then attached my stars and scrabble letters to the front. But I do like the matte finish look of of not having the shiny glass. Now, once that's dry, we will pop the back back into the frame. I just really love this scrap of paper. I will put the link to it directly in the list of supplies that I've used. It is, like I said, in my Amazon storefront. I believe if I can't find it there, I will put the link to Echo Park's website for it because it is really, really cute. And they might even still be having a sale on it right now. I order a lot of their scrap of paper collections for my paper crafting projects. Now I am laying out my Scrabble letters. I have a stash of these whenever I find a Scrabble game at a yard sale or a thrift store. I love to just throw these in a drawer and I can spell whatever word I want. I'm going to first glue down my middle letter, which is the R, and then we will line the rest of them up from there. Next, once I have my stars placed, I will just apply some more hot glue to those and fit them in at the different angles so that they can fit in on the background paper. And then our last step is we will make a bow for the top left corner. I'm just gonna make a loop of this ribbon. I believe this one was from Hobby Lobby. It is wired. And then I'm going to make a straight piece that I'm going to tie to the loop with some jute twine. So you can see I have the loop there on top of just the straight piece. We'll tie our jute twine just like we do for a messy bow. And then that straight piece will become our tails. And then the loops, of course, are the loops. Then once we have our bow made and angled how we want it, I'm gonna attach it to the frame with a little bit of hot glue. And here is our finished project, another one I absolutely love. Very simple to put together and you can use the supplies that you have. If you don't have Scrabble letters, you could even use stickers to spell America. If you love budget home decor DIY videos like this one, I hope you'll consider giving this video a thumbs up as that lets YouTube know people are enjoying my content and then they are more likely to show it to other viewers. DIY number three is super simple. I'm just gonna use three glass jars that I had in my stash, some red, white, and blue Waverly chalk paint. 
So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give two coats of ocean blue chalk paint to one of the jars. And then the other two jars, I'm going to give two coats of white paint. Now before you do your second coat of the paint, you do wanna make sure your first coat is completely dry. Otherwise, you may pull up the first layer of paint. Once my second coat was completely dry, I did take these out and spray them with clear matte spray. Now on my two white jars, you can see I did two lines of painter's tape going around. Those will stay white, and then between the tape, I am painting with crimson red. Coming back to my blue jar, I am just taking a medium point white painter's marker from Walmart and I'm just drawing stars and filling them in. This is just what I had to use. You could definitely use white star stickers if you'd like. And then you would want to Mod Podge again over those to make sure they don't come off. I was just showing you an alternative and I liked how this looked with the hand-drawn stars. And here's the three vases. I love how they turn out. You could put real flowers in these or artificial flowers like I did in the colors red, white, and blue. For a complete list of all the tools and supplies I've used in today's projects, please click the down arrow next to the title of this video or hit the word more to open up the description box. There you will find links to my Magnolia Design Co. website, my Amazon storefront, and a list for each project of the tools and supplies that I've used. For today's last project, I wanted to make a set of patriotic coasters. I'm using this coaster set from Hobby Lobby, a Dollar Tree crate, these Freedom Mini stencils from Magnolia, and that same red, white, and blue chalk paint. So this set of coasters is unfinished wood from Hobby Lobby. It comes with six coasters. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm painting two of them blue, two red, and two white. Next, I'm taking this wood crate from Dollar Tree and I'm taping off the three sections because I'm going to paint them in red, white, and blue stripes. I'm gonna start red at the top. So this is the bottom. I'm taping around and I'm going to paint this bottom section and the bottom of the crate with blue. Once the blue paint is dry, we'll now tape off what will be the top section and we'll go ahead and paint that all the way around with red.
Now that the paint on our coasters is dry, I am going to sand them a little bit so that it's nice and smooth since we are going to be stenciling on this surface. The, also, the side edges are sometimes a little rough, so I'm sanding those as well. And I'm going to do that on all six of my coasters. Now using these Freedom Mini Stencils from Magnolia, I'm going to pick six of them and I'm going to lay those down, smooth those down, stick them onto my coasters, and then using my red, white, and blue chalk paste, I'm going to apply these stencils to the front of our coasters. Once our coasters are all done, I'm gonna come back to our crate now and tape off both sides of that middle section and this stripe we will paint white. Now you might be wondering why I'm making this crate to put the coasters in when the coasters already came in a cute little case. Well, it's because I'm going to be adding adhesive cork to the bottom of each coaster to help it absorb any water and with the cork on the coasters they will not fit in that container so that's why I'm making the crate to store them in. So here's that cork I was talking about from Dollar Tree. I'm going to trace each of my coasters onto the adhesive side of the cork then we'll cut those out and attach them to the bottom of each coaster. I also forgot to say that once the stenciled images were dry on the tops of my coasters, I did spray my coasters with a clear matte spray so the chalk paste would not come off. And then once I have these cork backings onto them, I'm going to spray the fronts again with probably a semi-gloss clear or maybe even glossy so that they will be a little more water resistant. Coming back to my crate, I'm going to then apply some matte finish Mod Podge all the way around the outside of my crate and then let that dry completely. Once that's dry, I'm going to attach some jute twine to the middle section there. I'm gonna wrap it around my crate about three or four times just for some farmhouse look. Then we'll make a really simple jute twine bow by wrapping some twine around our fingers a few times. We'll tie it in the middle and then glue that to the front of our crate.
And here's our finished coaster set. So cute. You can see now that that crate has a lot more room for these coasters since they have the added thickness with the cork backing. Love these. Can't wait to use them this summer. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please let me know in the comments which of these projects was your favorite, and we'll see you next time. Take care.